on page 10, we will look at the different levels of a relationship. We saw on page 7 that there were six types of relationships and their scale runs from self-centered to willing to die for others. We find that in addition to these six types, there are five levels in a relationship. Level one being best. Level one is the honeymoon level. Neither person finds any fault or expectation in the other person. They're focused on how to make the other person happy and successful. There isn't any I or self at this level. All the attention is focused on you. Over time, man's sinful nature being what it is, soon turns and focuses on self. Remember what David Osberger said? The love of self is natural and originates in the mind. At this point, we become aware of level two. It is what's called a disrupted expectation. This expectation can be real or imaginary. A real expectation is a responsibility that others expect you to fulfill. The imaginary or hidden expectation is the one that only you are aware of when you tell the other person, you should have known. Where did that come from? The first rule in a relationship is not to should on people. With a disrupted expectation, it leads to a decision point at level three, that of resolution. Will you address the issue in a non-threatening way with the other's point of view in mind? The correct way to resolve the issue is to discuss in a non-threatening way and then prioritize the issue and commit to resolving the expectation and returning to level one. Failure to address the expectation leads to level four, that of avoidance, where the elephant then appears in the room. You've ignored the issue. Oh, we don't talk about that. When issues of this nature come up from time to time, you can have a complete family zoo that no one talks about. You do nothing to solve the issue, and then you do your own thing. Your attitude is, whatever. Letting the elephant stay in the room leads to a passive relationship where you just quit and stay in the relationship. One may withdraw, isolate, limit focus. It also happens when the other person will not talk about it or gets angry if you bring it up. And this can lead to level five, that of separation. It's my way or the highway. Our relationship with God starts at level two because of Adam's failure to understand the meaning of no. This caused a disrupted expectation at the tree of knowledge. In your relationship with God, you have to resolve the disrupted expectation and recognize your sinful nature. God sent Jesus to earth as his part of the resolution to the disrupted expectation. Your part of the resolution requires humility, repentance, as well as having the desire to be teachable. Failure to resolve the disrupted expectation will result in your relationship falling into level four, where the elephant then appears in the room. You ignore your sinful condition and do nothing to resolve the issue. Your attitude is, whatever works for you and makes you happy. This is the world's view. 
It's an attitude of indifference towards a relationship with God. This action will lead you to level five. At level five, avoiding the issue of your sinful nature will lead to a separation from God. In Revelation 20, 15, we're told those whose name is not found in the book of life will be thrown into the lake of fire, which is the second death. On page 11, we'll start to look at how your ability to communicate affects your relationship with others. To view the Notebook on Life series, visit us on the web at www.christianvisualarts.com.